Okay, hello, this is Frank the Thorpe Gamer, back with Crash Bandicoot the Huge Adventure. And, um, this is part 10B. We are, we will be killing Neo Cortex. Well, not, probably not killing, but we will be defeating him. So I already know what I'm supposed to do. I am supposed to, um, he's supposed to shoot and it's very, very easy to dodge. And then as soon as he's done shooting, these platforms flip up and I have to get him to shoot these, um, gems. Like so. And once he shoots the gems, he loses health for some reason. I guess it may be powering down his machine, but yeah. Now, entering this boss battle, I thought there would be some intro, like where, um, Cortex would try talking to Crash, like some sort of argument thing kind of going on. But no, the, he just enters the, and the fighting starts instantly. Like in a split second, Cortex is already shooting at you. Which usually Cortex says something before he starts fighting Crash. As far as I remember. Now, what I don't understand is... I could, uh, I have to get him to fire his laser at these, uh, gems. Why can't, if these gems need to be destroyed, why can't Crash himself destroy them? Why does he have to have Cortex destroy them? And if Cortex realizes that he's making a mistake by shooting them, why does he keep doing it? Well, looks like we beat him. And we get, somebody just tried calling me on Skype, and we get Turbo Run, and um, which means we press L for a boost of speed, which I, I don't know how many more levels are left, I mean, I, that's the end of the game as far as I'm concerned. Cortex says, you fool, it, it will take me forever to fix this mess. I think I just accidentally skipped a bunch of dialogue. But I'm pretty sure that dialogue would probably be filled with blah blah blah. I hate that Bandicoot. Da da blah blah blah, and just yelling at him and saying that he's an idiot and saying that he will get him next time. And so therefore, I don't really want to watch the credits because I don't think that many people are interested. But I, I I'm starting to think that maybe I need to include them because if I'm not including the credits, then maybe um youtube will do something stupid saying oh well these guys didn't get credits so i'm gonna s fast forward a bit through the credits and um but yeah this was a pretty good game i'm happy to finally be done with it it was uh it, it, it's a it's a good game boy game if it's a game game boy game i didn't really expect it to be that good at all but um it was it was it was pretty good i don't really know what else to say during the credits cuz it's kind of confusing to come up with things to say but now my um now my schedule is going to be easier needless to say and now i can just focus on mario and luigi superstar saga and paper mario and boy, am I having lots of fun with Paper Mario. Is it me, or did we already see this stuff? Is it... Does... Or do, do these ending credits go on a constant loop? What's... I, what's going on? I don't understand. These were already said. So, then if I'm correct, then these are endless credits. These credits never end. And so, yeah, these... Well, I guess then, um, in that case, I might as well say that, um, this was Frank Thorpe Gamer with Crash Bandicoot The Huge Adventure. We are now done with it. So... Be ready for Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga and Paper Mario. I'm only going to do two series at a time. Until later on in LPing, maybe I'll get better at it and use, um, do, do three LPs at a time. But right now, I'm only going to do two. So, yeah. See ya.